76% of Americans live paycheck to paycheck. 64% of Americans that have businesses break even or lose money. Mo most people are, don't have any money and have accepted the fact that they don't have any money. They don't have any leftover money. They're fearful of money constantly. They overspend, they don't know how to produce money, they definitely don't know how to multiply. The, the land of the brave and the home of the free, it, it's not even close to the truth. It's just important for people to understand that complaining has no value. And if you complain about not having enough money, work more. If you complain about not having work-life balance, spend more time on vacationing and your family. It's super simple. Let your actions dictate instead of sitting there and feeling like you're not in control. Poor people say, I can't afford it, I can't do that, I don't have time. It's an escape, you know what I mean? It's easy to say, I can't afford it. Oh, I'm too tired. Oh, I can't go to the gym. You know, when you could go to the gym, but no, I can't. The truth is, I'm just too lazy to go to the gym. Money doesn't have value, right? And this is an important thing that most people don't immediately understand, is that money itself doesn't have value. Money is, is a vector for transmitting value. It's how you express value. But the value isn't in the money. It's in the product or service you bought with it. And it's in the labor you gave in order to acquire it in the first place. That's where the value comes from. There's nothing intrinsically valuable in the money. You shouldn't put money in a house. You should put money in your brand. You should put money in the marketing. You should promote yourself, not put money in where you and the kids live. Right? Why is that a mistake? Because it's dead money. I mean, it's it, it, it can't. A house can't make you money. A house does not make you money. The only reason people think a house makes them money is they're comparing it to if I rent, that costs me money. But you know, if you need to go to a hospital, you don't buy the hospital. You rent a bit to get out of there as fast as you can. If you go on a trip, you go to America and you want to go to Disneyland, you don't buy the hotel, you rent a room. And nobody thinks bad, poorly of that. They're like, yeah, I'm gonna go there, use the place and get out. That's what you should be doing with your living. Find a place where you can rent. Rent, rent, pay rent monthly. Don't own the house. And take all the money that you would have put in that house purchase, down payment, extra money, fixing it up. Use all that money to improve your business and yourself so that you can get more money. Right? So I see so many people here like, I'm going to invest 300,000 pounds in a house to hopefully make $30,000, 30,000 pounds. I'm going to make, I'm going to buy it for 300, I'll, maybe I'll sell it for 600,000. I'll double my money. Fixed in one place, by the way, where no money comes to you. Money does not go to homes. Right. And that's big, a big thing on your career is moving locations. Yeah, I've moved five or six times. I can move another four or five times. Because people who stay in the same place get too comfortable. If you study wealthy people, they're mercurial. They're moving, they're mobile. They're not, they're not talking, Warren Buffett and Bill Gates do not talk about the home they live in. They talk about the places they're going to. They go meet money, they go meet wealth, they go meet connections. People are stunningly accepting of anything if they actually believe that's the purest form of it. I think I'd be less acceptable if I hedged. I really do. People will accept you. People will accept everything. Just be you. Be you and clearly people like react. When you're trying to fake something and you've got bad intent, well then that's visceral and we hate. But I actually think we, we, we don't give love to the person that actually knows they have it and they're trying to fake it to conform. Hence why I won't adjust to this market all the way because I don't think I'll be respected. I know what my intent is, so why would I be scared? I want to build the biggest building in town. That's who I am. And you know how I want to do that? By building the biggest building in town. And a lot of people want to build the biggest building in town, and you know how they want to do it? By tearing everybody else's building down. Poverty is passed on. It's taught in your families. And middle class is taught in families. And so the people right now who are sitting at home <clears throat> who are struggling financially or worried about money or unhappy, they may be making a lot of money, but unhappy with what they're doing, it was probably taught to you. You know, your super ego was taught, get a job, work hard, or, or you'll never be rich, or the rich are evil, or whatever. And it's interesting when you commit to something, little gifts just start automatically showing up. It's a phenomenal thing. 
It's happened my whole career. When I fully commit, somebody will bring me something. And then look, then keep your eyes open. And by the way, the package may come wrapped in a package you weren't thinking about. Hard work. Or like a voice or like a person or, a, 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 you know, maybe from a different direction than you thought or an offering where you're like, you read something about this and that's not the thing. Like all throughout my career, it's come in weird kind of ways. If you ask for help, and, and, and somebody shows up at the door, may, maybe let, invite them in, okay. regardless of what the packaging is or what you've heard about it or whatever. That's really been beneficial to me. You know, I have bad luck too. I've, I've, I've had f financial crashes. I've had people stab me in the back, but they're all good because I grow from it. That's spirituality. You know, people who are afraid of making mistakes like they teach in school, they don't ever grow because spirituality is there's good and there's bad, there's right and there's wrong, there's up and there's down. Most people only want to be right, they only want to be positive. Well, you can't have that, that's not reality. And the average person, the reason you're playing stupid, you should have a team, you should have accountants, attorneys and bankers and all that stuff, but that's not the game I want to play. I said, then don't play the game. You know, the, the game of business is played with accountants, attorneys, bankers, hate to say it, politicians, you know, you gotta know the game. Like, I don't wanna hustle. I wanna, I wanna prosper. I don't wanna grind. I wanna create a machine that monetizes. You know, I'm not shameful of money. I want money. I want a lot of money. I wanna give money away. I wanna raise a lot of money. You can't do that if you're broke.